I cook, you measure. I'm your host, Jen Mueller, and today I have somebody to measure. You are just a chef. You're Chef Jeremy. You oh, cooked you're for me. the Mariners you're make me for blush. years. For years you cooked for years. the team. I know it, I know it. 1999. I always tell people I was skinny when I started there. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what we are going to make today, Cubano-styled stuffed pork tenderloin. So essentially what we're gonna do is take all of the flavors from a Cuban sandwich and we're gonna put it in and around the pork tenderloin. Okay. In order to get the things stuffed inside, we actually need to flatten this out a little bit. So okay. we're not gonna cut all the way through, but I'm gonna cut two lines then. I know some people would take a meat tenderizer and they would use that to flatten. Right. I actually have a mallet that I prefer to use <laughs> from my garage. Okay. And there is nothing more satisfying than pounding out this meat with a mallet. Yeah. Perfect! So you don't want to be doing this when people are on Zoom calls, but now we've got something that we can work with. Okay. Mustard next. Okay. Yep. Pam and just lay it in there. Okay. Got a little cheese. The Latin players love pork dishes. I wish I would have known this one <laughs> back when I was down in the clubhouse because they would have loved this. You know what I remember? Kendra's Morales cooking a pig in <laughs> the parking lot. I don't I know the where. Best. He would always ask me if I knew how to do a whole pig and I was always honest. I said, I don't know He's how to do Cuba. it. from Cuba. From Cuba, like an entire pig. Yeah, yes. so, so he ordered a pig smoker somehow online and it showed up at the stadium. And we have this amazing picture of him smoking a cigar, smoking a pig next to a no smoking sign. <laughs> He was a good chef. We've got some dill pickle spears, and you're gonna lay just one line of pickle spears. So it's probably okay. gonna take two or three. Okay. So we're gonna kind of roll it together as best as you can. And it's not gonna roll all the way, but if you flattened it enough. Okay. okay. All right, so let's get some twine, and we're gonna do this at several intervals. Yep. Okay. So go ahead and tie that off right there. It's funny, at, so at chef school, they teach you these fancy knots. And anyway, I remember I just learned how to do this fancy knot and I was jet skiing out in Lake Washington and my jet ski started to sink. And so I tied it with the with the rope, just like a roast, and I was able to save my jet ski. <laughs> so, I know, it's a random story. So you've got all of your seasoning there. This is salt, that's brown sugar. You can mix it into that bowl if you would like. Okay. You know what's so funny? After cooking for so long. You're not even using the measuring yeah, spoons. Yeah, I never use those anymore. <laughs> and it's not. I'm not trying to show off or anything. You know, because normally I would have to make 20 of these, right? So yes. you're moving fast all the time. I call it guessapes. It's um, just kind of, especially cooking for the Mariners, it was a whole different deal because you're racing the game. In, you know, fifth inning and I only have half the dinner done, I am like speeding up big time. So you learn, you learn to do all these tricks. Let's put just a little bit of oil in the pan. We're gonna coat it. Okay, this is it. So like dinner, if we weren't talking, it would have taken us about eight minutes. About eight dinner, minutes, right? right? Yeah. Which is perfect and it's flavorful and it's easy. Now it's gonna go into an oven, 425 degrees for about 35 minutes. But what you're really looking at is internal temperature of pork, which should be- You wanna go 160, 165. So here's what I'm gonna have you do. My hands are a mess. I'm gonna have you put that in the oven. Okay. guys that you cooked for was Ken Griffey Jr. And oh, I don't man. know if you've shared this story. You and I talked about this. So he actually, like, you were scrambling to fulfill his last minute request. Yes, absolutely scrambling. Because So the game had started. I think he came back to me in the second inning and he said, hey, I would like to buy some crab or, or lobster for the whole team tonight. And I was like, in the second inning of the game, how am I gonna make that happen? Because it's Ken Griffey Jr. So if you're like, of course, that's no problem. I'm calling every seafood person that I know. I'm leaving voicemails and I'm freaking out. Because it's also like 7.30 at it's night. It's 7.30 at night. Yeah. So I jump in my car, I go flying over, to, over the hill to QFC on Rainier Avenue. I run back to the seafood department that's closing and the guy's literally shutting the door. And I'm pound, I'm like, this is for Ken Griffey Jr. You got it. I mean, I'm just freaking out. He pulled all the crab that he had in, in the refrigerator, raced it back to the stadium. I get the water boiling. I mean, somehow pulled that off. And 
you know, Griffey would rarely ask me to do anything like that. So, I mean, other than the time I was doing meatloaf for everybody else, and he had me do a really nice steak for him. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> and he had an Australian lobster tail, which are the really big yeah. ones. And while everyone was eating meatloaf, then I served him a steak and lobster. And I mean, he would just do fun stuff like that. I, I love that guy. Oh, <laughs> yes. This is what we're looking for. Wow. It looks fancy. That's beautiful right And it there. took like eight minutes. Man, it's perfect. that is awesome. We lost a little cheese, but not as much cheese as I thought we were gonna lose. So what I would do is kind of cut in between however you want those slices. I would have you do the honors for that. Okay. One thing we would do in catering, say we're doing this for a wedding, we would do, you know, a hundred of these, <laughs> and then you would cool it, and then you cut it while it's cold, oh. and it just, it's just easier to cut, yep. and then it, and then you just reheat it before the wedding, right. of course. Just a, just a catering tip. Put that on a plate. I'm gonna put a little greens on a plate here. Man, this looks so awesome. It's so tender. What a simple recipe. Doesn't that that is like awesome. Recipe? All right. Cooking with friends is such a pleasure. I am so appreciative for Chef Jeremy, not just measuring today, but for letting us use his kitchen at Rain City Catering. Thanks for being with us. Thanks to Chef Jeremy Thank for you. his time. We'll see you next time. You can watch the full episode of I Cook, You Measure on YouTube. Enjoy free delivery and exclusive perks with Fresh Pass at Safeway. Start free for 30 days.